Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I'm Jasmine. Today we're gonna be doing a five year flight incident update. Like what, five years? Where the heck does the time go? And while we do that, I'm gonna be putting some big pink curls in my hair. We won't be showing the final hair in the video, but if you guys do wanna see how the pink curls turned out, make sure you follow me on my other socials. Let's get into the chit chat. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Let's get into the video. Yeah, these pink curls are gonna have to be quick and I'm gonna have to be precise with what I'm talking about and how I'm talking about it. I really like to film in daylight, but I keep starting my videos like around like five o'clock and then I find myself rushing and running out of daylight. Anyway, so all things of flight attending. So guys, can you believe we're at five years of being a flight attendant? That feels like the quickest five years of my life, but I always, I always know like based off of Nova's life because Nova just turned six and she was like 15 months when I started flying. So, um, five years just it's just like even her being six is crazy so time wise you know what I mean but so much has changed in the life of flight attending um things are not what I ever thought they would be at five years and um and it's pretty freaking cool I can't lie it's pretty cool it honestly feels like yesterday that I was like going through training making training videos and like sharing my experience and all the things like it just has been such a cool journey to be on and to be hitting five years is crazy five years in the life of flight in, in the life of flight attending five years at your company is big at least for mine because it's like the first big pay jump we get a pay jump every year but this is like the one that everyone is like oh you know wait till you get to five years you're really gonna notice a difference and all these other things just about five years but I think it's even sweeter because shout out to my generation of flight attendants we have not had to go through what a lot of older flight attendants have gone through and honestly after covid everything really shifted when i started flying five years ago the expectation of what five years would look like was totally different than the reality that i'm living in right now when i first started flying you would be ex the only thing to really look forward to at the five year mark was the pay jump like five years was exciting but like if you're based like in atlanta for example like me you don't five years means nothing to your seniority in the base and what kind of trips you get and stuff like that before now girl now i'm convinced now like the hiring rate is so high that we have finally reached a point that we have like good flight attendant to flight ratios uh reflecting on all the like the past few years i've definitely had a much better experience as a flight attendant than maybe some people that came before me because things have look and are a lot different than what they used to be back in the day obviously but um but they're all good things. Some things to look forward to now with the way things are and with staffing looking so good. I mean, I'm making this judgment just based off of like how it's been. It has, it, this isn't even just like a slow season thing. Like summer didn't feel as harsh as it usually does. Like summer flying, summer flying, you know, has a reputation of being insane. And this year just didn't feel like that. The overall lifestyle of flight attending has changed drastically. You can really hold things that you want at a younger seniority. Um, if you really are seniority driven, you could move to other bases that are doing good. Like last year, I did Boston as a base. I was chasing seniority um, and I heard that my year around the time that I became a flight attendant held like no a days out there and they were able to hold like good international at least Europe's in the summertime some people flew Europe all summer long and had just came out on the line you know what I'm saying so it those were like low seniority bases so I tried it out out there and it was cool but it was fleeting but it was nice to have it while i could a little taste of it because not seeing any a days is like girl yeah it's jumped down from 22 to like maybe eight between six and eight i'm not really too sure years um but like that's a drastic jump but i'm still only barely at five so it's like i know i like have time it's just way more realistic nowadays in this life of flight attending to experience flexibility in your career a lot sooner 
than we would have probably in the past or like back when I first started and before. This year, not only can I look forward to a big pay jump, but I also get another week of vacation, which is super exciting to um, get, you know, like cool. Sometimes you don't even have to take your vacation. You can swap your vacation out for paid time off or you can like not take a vacation and get paid out for your vacation. You really have a lot of control over like how to make your money. You know what I mean? And it shows a lot easier. Like it shows a lot more flexibility on how to make your money the more years you have and the longer that you stick it out but this we already knew coming into this we knew that this was a seniority game we knew that you know like we would be struggling at the bottom of the barrel for a while like we were we came into this committed to 20 at least 22 years of like crappy schedule and having eight days forever but like it ain't even like that no more i am not even five years yet i didn't get eight days in january i didn't get eight days in february um, and who knows I might not get them in March either um, but you know when those busy seasons come up that's really gonna be the test if we go another busy season like the summertime and things are still that'll mean this is definitely the new norm you know so so yeah I can look forward to another week of vacation I can also look forward to if things stay how they are I can look forward to now having no a days which are on call days by the way I don't know if I specified that but a days are on call days um the days where you're on call from like midnight to midnight and it's we get six of them a month sometimes you can get all six together sometimes you can get just three and three spread out in the month but a days are what people just like don't wish to have like everybody's least favorite but the culture of working and a days and everything has changed dramatically i will say though the only downfall or caveat to like i guess having good staffing finally enough flight attendants finally is that it's very hard to like make extra money as a flight attendant we pretty much get to control like how much money we make every pay period almost because like if I work a trip or move a trip or I can pick up trips like lately it has not been easy to pick up extra trips it's not been easy to work extra at all because now nobody's really dropping anything like dropping meaning like if I have a trip that I don't want to work I can put it up on this board for people to like thumb through and see like, oh, do I have space on my schedule for this? Or oh, do you want to swap me this for this? Like they can see what the trip is and they can like decide to like take it. If you have, if you have time to open on your schedule and you're legal, you can pick up whatever you want. But the problem is nobody is dropping anything these days. And if you drop it, you absolutely need to be no, you, you need to absolutely be sure that you don't want to work because somebody is going to pick it up so the culture of working right now is so different so much has changed um and it's just like there's nothing in open time you'll be on a days and it's very likely that you'll get used because there's nothing out there um so yeah it's just different right now like it's crazy so like if you really didn't want to work it's a high probability that you won't have to you could take a whole month off of flying if all of your things get dropped or you have things that are worth picking up like don't get me wrong if you're just starting out as a flight attendant of course your seniority is crappy you're getting the worst trips like that's just natural but for everybody else like your stuff is getting dropped like even the crappiest of trips though actually I, I take back what I said because even the crappiest of trips are getting picked up like people will pick up all your a days like it's insane I don't know the culture is just so different I'm just the way things are now like if you know you need to make some extra money you're going to have to you really have to be looking ahead in your schedule and in your life really because you're gonna have to pick up pick stuff up way far in advance say i wanted to work extra this week which i did right i had like three days off but i was like no i kind of want to go to work and make some extra money there was literally nothing out there for me I, even if i wanted to go to work i couldn't go to work because there's nothing out there on the board nobody's dropping a thing and so i've learned that i need to pick up far in advance like people usually put when schedules come out people usually put their entire schedule up for drop i don't know if they're doing this anymore but back in the day <laughs> we used to just when you're a schedule drop you just put the whole thing up put everything up and people might drop and swap and do whatever um but at least your schedule's up right 
some people still do that I know I still do that just in case even this month I'm noticing that like I tried looking farther in advance for other things to work or to swap on to and they're just the pool is just very minimal right now and long story short it's harder to make extra money these days so yeah if now was ever a time to become a flight attendant you know you're looking at it honestly he was really looking at it back in back in right right after covid because they ain't let up off the gas but in the hiring in the hiring process but um you know come on the seniority is gonna keep seniority -ing, and eventually you'll be further to the top then you know it so yeah approaching five years in less than a month it's just so thrilling i'm already seeing the benefits i think the most exciting thing is like definitely the pay jump for sure and just like enjoying the seniority like being able to being able to call out when i or like request a day off and like actually get it like these days i'm getting all the days that i requested off if i asked for it off that's probably why my february schedule i actually didn't get the trips i normally get on my february schedule um and i've been bidding the same way for over a year um i think it's because i asked for so many days off and i got them all <laughs> so that's probably why so my birthday is coming up i have some vacation already bidded for which reminds me i also need to bid for my vacation for next year because <laughs> now it's time um but yeah i have vacation coming up for my birthday don't really know what i plan on doing but mostly i just want to like work, 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 work. and just now with the boards being so thin so scarce it makes you hungrier for the money it makes you want to like grab flights when they drop like like freaking hunger games like but you know some people have other things going on in like life and so being able to hold a schedule that allows you some freedom and not being able to have to work all the time is comes in really clutch like it actually is really a blessing what's cool about the career is that like every year is going to be a better year and like you just know that automatically because it just continues the more your seniority gets better the better your life becomes because you can fully control your schedule and so i definitely have some ways to go um even still with the, the way things being so nice and how they are now um definitely some ways to go to really get those trips that i want and can like for real make my own schedule them day turns see your mamas okay they got their schedules on lock okay make friends with the senior mamas because they they usually be the ones that be like let me know what you want and you can have it you get first dibs i'm like yes period like let me matter of fact gonna save your contact thanks girl <laughs> like absolutely especially especially nowadays because it's so hard to just work extra there's nothing out there so if someone's willingly giving you something and you got space on your schedule grab it especially if it's something like a day turn like easy money that's the best way to make your money as a flight attendant are those like daytime turns because you're there for just the amount of time that you're making your money for like and if you're if you do one day and it's worth anywhere between eight and ten hours that's a good turn like go make that money girl <laughs> like go do that turn real quick because yeah yeah but those are few and far between so when you come by them and once you get to that seniority where you can hold them, you know, you just got to figure out a schedule that works for you. And and um, and I've been doing that. Speaking of scheduling, I've had trips that are like fake three day trips now. So like I really don't work three days. Now, granted, I did get scheduled a whole bunch of them in February. But I like I said, I think it's because I asked for so many days off and got them. So I feel like three days were all they could really plot on my schedule. Plus, I had no A days, so um, I'm not like I'm not too mad about it. Like it is what it is. Lately, I've been working those two day trips where I'm doing like one leg to the West Coast, and then I lay over for like 24 hours and come back on the red eye the next night, and it's just one leg back. Now, the thing about these are like they're good for work life balance and all, but they are not good for the pocket. Those trips are only worth like. 10 to 12 hours and remember how i just told you you can come to work and do a turn for the same 10 hours without having to be gone for 
three days yeah so it's like not the most efficient way to make your money but i love those type of trips because they just make my work-life balance feel so much healthier like doing one flight okay fine i can do one long flight give me five hours like three and a half four oh, like it's fine like i can make that work i get a full 24 hour layover to recoup and then i just come back and do it one more time in the middle of the night when half of the cabin is asleep sure like it is a good type of trip construction three days are really how you're gonna make money like without the stress without the sweat like you're gonna make your money do two or three three days in the pay period you're gonna be straight like but like when you start getting down to those two days and those lean overs and overnight trips or whatever you gotta really like work a lot of them to like equal up to like what a three day would equal to but uh guys this was such a rambling type of flight attendant update but i feel like i haven't been able to i haven't like really sat down and just kind of like rambled to you guys in a while um i did that one my second to last video was a sit down chit chat but that was more like i was trying to really tell y'all something this is just us chatting like we just chatting so, <laughs> all right, we're going to do curls in the front and pin those back. And then, ah, I haven't done pin curls on myself in so long. Oh, Okay guys, that concludes today's flight attendant update. Basically things are going really well. Um, there's so much flexibility. I'm living my flight attendant dreams. Actually, the only thing I'm missing is international travel. I think that I'm going to make some changes here soon. But anyways, life's been good and it's only gonna keep getting better. Praise God, so thankful for my job. And I can't believe five years is already here. Anywho, thanks for watching me pink curl my hair. Hopefully it comes out cute. You guys will see on social media. If you want to see how my hair turned out, then don't forget to be following me on my other socials because we will post the results there. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.